Hi everybody, it's Ariel Lauren and for this week's video I am actually going to be doing the furry friend tag again, this time with my dogs because I do have two dogs but I was just kind of putting off doing that video for a while because I was just envisioning both of my dogs not sitting still at all. I was picturing one of them knocking over my camera. I didn't really know what to do, so I just finally decided that I would do just one by one with each dog. So for this week's video, I am going to be doing the tag with my first dog, and of course once I actually want him in the shot, he decides to leave. Cleo! So this is my dog Cleo, and yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the questions right away. Okay, so the first question is, what is your pet's name? And yes, his name is Cleo, and yes, he is a boy. <laughs> I don't know why we named him that. Honestly, uh, I was about 10 years old when we got him, so in terms of naming him, I honestly do not remember why we named him Cleo, but Every single time that we go to the vet, they always say, oh, she's such a pretty dog, and okay, Cleo's ready for her checkup, and I'm like, he's a boy. <laughs> but regardless of that, I think it's a really cute name, and I think it suits him really well, so I wouldn't change it even if I could. <laughs> Okay, the second question is what kind of pet is it and what breed? We are actually almost certain that he is definitely at least part Catahoula, which is not a very common breed of dog, I know that's for sure, but they're actually the state dog of Louisiana, so definitely look that up because if you look at the pictures of what Catahoulas look like, it definitely looks a lot like what Cleo looks like. And I have had a Catahoula dog in the past, so I am very familiar with what they look like. He's at least part Catahoula, if not, you know, completely that breed. I've had a lot of different people ask me that question, like what kind of breed is he? They always like give the most random guesses ever, so people think he's a lot of different kinds of breeds. Don't really know why, but yeah. So the next question is, how long have you had your pet friend? I have had Cleo, like I said earlier, since I was about 10, so yeah, now I'm 20, so that's exactly 10 years ago. Pretty crazy to think about, but yeah, I've had him for a really long time. Okay, and the next question is, how did you get your pet? And this is kind of an interesting answer, but basically one day my dad happened to pass by a house that had a dog in their front yard and he didn't really look like he was in the best condition. He thought he was a really nice dog, so he actually went up to the front door and said, hey, you know, I like your dog out front there. Are you looking to give him away at all or anything? And basically, long story short, the owner just said, go ahead and take him. So he ended up just bringing him home right away and we never looked back. And also, just on a side note, Cleo actually has lupus, um, which gives him a lot of different kind of like scarring and issues with his skin. And when we first got him, we didn't really know what was wrong with him. We just knew that he had a bunch of little kind of injuries and cuts on his skin. And we took him to the vet, and she told us that he actually had lupus. So he just takes his special little pills and vitamins that we give him every day, and he's been totally fine for years. So it's just really crazy to think about, but we're so glad that he ended up in our arms and we definitely have all his special accommodations that he needs and he's been completely happy. The next question is, how old is your pet? As soon as my dad brought him home, we took him to the vet right away and the vet told us that at that point he was only about uh, four months old, I think. So he's about 10 years old. All right then. Okay, so the next question is, what are some quirky things that your pet does? Probably right off the bat, something that comes to mind right away is uh, whenever he's lying down, he tends to kind of have his arms crossed like this, and he looks like a little a little proper, proper old man or something. It's so cute, but he does that a lot when he lies down. Um, not really sure why he does that, but it's very cute. And what else does he do? Um, also, just his ears in general are really funny. First of all, they're like, they're pretty short little ears. A lot of times he'll hold them back like really, really far and I think he looks so cute when he holds his ears back like that. And then other times if he's like really like intensely staring at something, they'll be like standing straight out to the side like little airplane ears. But it just looks super cute regardless. He goes insane 
every Thursday morning whenever the recycle truck comes throughout our neighborhood to pick up everybody's recycle bin. For some reason, he just has beef with that recycle truck. Don't know why. So every single morning at about 6 a.m., he goes completely crazy just barking like mad, going in and out of the house. He can jump like, I swear, like six feet off the ground from a complete standstill. I don't know how he does it, and he'll just like jump, jump over the fence to try and see the truck on the other side. Gotten used to it, what can I say? <laughs> He's also like a giant lap dog, as you can kind of see right now. Whenever I sit down on a chair, he immediately wants to come over. He's willing to just put his arms and his chest like in my lap and then just kind of stand with his hind legs behind him. Something else that's really quirky about him is that he has a lot of spots all over him and he's mainly this kind of like grayish silver color and his spots are mainly black but he does have some brown and white spots like on his chest or like underneath his neck right here and I think his little spots everywhere are definitely one of his more quirky features so yeah I just think that's another really cute thing about him too Oh, he actually does know a little trick that we've been doing with him for years. Um, every time he wants a little treat, as soon as you hold it up in front of his face, he immediately already knows to sit down and he'll just sit on his hind legs like that. I don't know how we've managed to train him to do that, but he does it and like just willingly will do it every single time if there's a treat involved. I feel like he would be really good at one of those little like dog training course things that you see on TV when the dogs have to go through little obstacles and stuff. I feel like he would learn that really easily because he's so like springy and quick and he just he learns tricks really quickly so that's definitely one of the tricks that he's really hung on to all these years and he likes to do it. <laughs> okay and the next question is what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Obviously it means a lot. I mean, I love pets. I've grown up with them my entire life since I was a baby. You know, he's been there since I was 10 years old and he's just such a loving, sweet dog. He's always been so sweet. And yeah, you know, to be honest, I don't know what I would do without him or any of my pets for that matter. They just they just mean a lot to me. I mean, any animal lover out there understands that, I'm sure. So, yeah, the relationship with Cleo is definitely a very very meaningful one. Oh, he's my big baby. Okay so the next question is what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? I would have to say probably uh, going on morning hikes with him. Out of both of our dogs, Cleo is definitely the one who likes to hike a lot more or just going for walks in general because it's definitely you know his favorite thing to do. Um, so I'd probably say that for sure. Okay, and the last question is, what kind of nicknames do you have for your pet? I definitely call him Klee Klee. I always have little nicknames like that for not only my dogs, but for my friends too, so I always make crazy nicknames. But anyway, Klee Klee is one of them. I'm actually really surprised he's been able to sit pretty still for the most part. I thought he was honestly going to be like running around and I wouldn't even be able to have him in one shot for more than like one second. And there he goes again. So anyway, those are all the questions that there are. I really hope you guys liked watching this video. Just a little heads up, there will be another furry friend tag with my other dog coming up. Um, I'm just not sure exactly when I'll actually film that, but it will be coming up pretty soon. So definitely look out for that. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And also leave some comments down below. Both Cleo and I would love to read your comments. <laughs> and I do always respond to comments, by the way, because I really do enjoy reading them. They make me really happy. And also, if you are feeling extra, extra generous, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to this channel. It makes me such a happy person, so do what you gotta do. You know, if you want to, totally up to you. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have. Um, do you have anything to say, Cleo? No? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, so thank you guys for watching, and we will see you very, very soon. Bye, guys! You gotta say bye, too. Yep.